There's a wrestling in the Garden State, and it involves the sexy son of one of America's favorite families. We're talking about the Kennedys, and the son couldn't be anyone but John. Jody Baskerville reports. JFK Jr. He's held a lot of titles. Favorite son, the sexiest man alive, America's Prince Charming. Now some people in New Jersey want to call him Senator Kennedy. Anytime um, a hole opens up in the Democratic Party in this country, the Kennedy name automatically comes up. It may be nothing more than political speculation, but the numbers could add up. Here's how. New Jersey Senator Bill Bradley is retiring. That leaves an opening that John Jr. could fill. He certainly looks as attractive to the Democrats as he does to a lot of women. And the party could use a fresh face. He's charismatic. Um, he has a full head of hair, there probably isn't a woman in America who wouldn't vote for him. John's connection to New Jersey is through a horse farm his mother gave him several years ago. Now, if this sounds like he's horsing around with his residency, you're right. But it wouldn't be the first time a political party tried to jump over a hurdle. He has a very loyal family, and I think he is loyal to his party. And so, you know, someone could probably put him up to it. Politics, after all, are a Kennedy tradition. And John will be putting his own spin on the family trademark when his hot new magazine, George, goes on sale. Detractors might construe such a move as, you know, a, a um, callous manipulation of the electorate to get <laughs> uh, more readers for George. I don't know, but I, they might be interested. These days, John's the multimedia man. He'll appear as himself in the opening episode of TV's Murphy Brown. But off screen, he's been sharing his time with live-in lover Carolyn Bissett. Some say this is just a rehearsal for a marriage in the near future. That would certainly make John Jr. the perfect candidate. Publishing Not Politics may be where John Jr.'s heart really is. His new political magazine, George, hits newsstands this weekend. And who knows, if it's a hit, he's certainly got the money to build a media empire. Barry? Thanks, Jody. Now, tough work.